What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about uh, basically the Adobe Creative Cloud. So uh, if you watched a couple videos back, I think it was, I started talking about Merch by Amazon. Um, I got into Merch by Amazon so I've started to you know make t-shirt designs and just try to get some designs up on the platform. So um, if you watch some of my other videos, I talk about Canva and that's what I basically use for my graphic design. But the only problem with Canva is you cannot stretch the images beyond 5,000 pixels and Merch by Amazon requires uh, 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. So I had to try to find an alternative. And after doing a little bit of research, I found the best alternative is basically going with Adobe's Creative Cloud, Adobe's Creative Suite. I'm sure you've heard of you know, Photoshop, Illustrator, and a whole bunch of other apps that they have. So um, I did find one thing confusing is you know which app to choose. So today I'm gonna go over a few of the apps that are um, options basically for anybody to pick from and I'm gonna tell you which one uh, you should pick if you're starting Merch by Amazon or you just wanna create uh, t-shirt graphics. So let's get into it. Okay, so Adobe Creative Cloud, the unfortunate thing is that it's kind of pricey. So the good news, if you're a student or a teacher or you have like a student email, basically you can probably uh, get a discount. So right now I'm looking at the website for the whole Creative Cloud. So for Photoshop, um, Illustrator, all the Adobe apps, it's $19.99 a month uh, with the student discount or a teacher, there's a few different like variations of how to get the discount. But unfortunately for most people, um, you're gonna have to pay the full price, which is $49.99 a month, and that's to get all the apps. Uh, that's definitely a really pricey option, especially if you're trying to come over from Canva, which is either completely free or like $12 a month. Um, going over to like $50 is a huge jump, and if you're just getting started with either Merch by Amazon or Print on Demand and, and making t-shirts, uh, that's a lot to put up uh, monthly just to get going. So the good news is, is that with Adobe you can purchase just single apps. So you can buy uh, just Photoshop or just Illustrator or something else or like Adobe Premiere if you want to do video editing. Um, so if you want to buy one app, it's $19.99 a month just to have that one Adobe app. So the good thing is, is with t-shirts and design, you probably only need one to get started. So today I'm gonna to go through kind of the top three ones that people use for like a graphic design, um, just to kind of tell you which one is used for what purpose so that you go with the right one, you don't make a mistake and pick the wrong one. So you have Adobe InDesign, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Photoshop. So we're gonna walk through each one of those, uh, what the purpose is for each of those apps so that you can pick the best one for your purpose. All right, so the first one is Adobe InDesign. Um, if you're gonna be doing like t-shirt designing, then this is 100% not what you want. So um, the reason I included it in there is because they often get compared and if, you, if you're trying to do t-shirts, InDesign is not gonna be your choice. What InDesign actually is for is for printed materials. Things like brochures, if you're making like an ebook, like a business card, um, basically multiple page layouts for printed material, a lot of text and like uh, photo layouts and stuff like that. So for like a one design, for any kind of photo or um, like a vector uh, editing or anything like that, you're not gonna wanna pick that. So InDesign is not gonna be what you pick. So the next one and maybe the most popular Adobe tool is Photoshop. So what Photoshop is, it's a pixel based uh, editor essentially. So um, if you want to edit photos or like you know kind of crop other photos and kind of merge them together, do certain effects, um, this is what you're going to use Photoshop for. So the important thing to know though is that it is pixel based. So you know a pixel is that one little tiny dot like on a computer screen or part of an image and as you kind of blow it up um, or shrink it, you know, you're gonna either increase resolution or decrease resolution. So while you can, um, you know, edit logos and, and like printed materials in Photoshop, it's really not what Photoshop is for. Um, it's mainly for effects with video um, graphics. You can make video graphics effects with um, just pictures and basically combining pictures and like doing certain effects with that. It's not for uh, graphic based design. Okay, so the last one, as you can guess, is probably the one that you're gonna wanna pick and it's Adobe Illustrator. So what Adobe Illustrator is, it's a vector based um, editor. So what a vector is, is it's, 
it's not based on pixels. So you can resize it, make it as large as you want, and you're not gonna lose resolution. It's still gonna be a crystal clear image. Could be as small as a business card, as big as a billboard, and it's gonna be the same detail and the same resolution. So uh, this is perfect for basically making t-shirts because they have all sorts of vector websites. You have like freepick.com, vecteasy.com. Usually they are like, you do have to pay like a membership or something for these sites if you wanna use a design for commercial based uh, use. So obviously if you're gonna be printing t-shirts, um, that's a commercial use, you're gonna need a license. I mean, always read the fine print, but uh, Illustrator is how you're gonna make graphics. For graphic tees, you can do a ton of stuff with it. Um, and that's the typical graphic tees that you see. If, if they don't look like a straight photo on a t-shirt, then chances are they're used by Illustrator. Okay, guys, hopefully that'll just kind of clear the lines um, for, what you, for what you need to download. Um, you definitely are gonna have to eat the cost a little bit uh, getting an Illustrator. Um, there are other free options. I know I've heard of like GIMP is definitely a free photo editing. I think you can do vector graphics in there as well. And I'm sure there's other vector editors. Uh, while they are free for $20 a month, you can kind of add you know a well-known skill onto your resume or your portfolio and you're using the industry standard. So while I always support free tools and um, you know open source tools, I would just kind of bite the bullet here and get the Adobe Creative Suite. If you can afford the whole Creative Cloud, by all means grab that. If not, just pick the pick the Illustrator if you're going for graphic tees. Otherwise, you know, pick the one that best suits your needs from, from what we went over. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully this will help clear everything up. If you like videos like this, make sure you smash the like button, drop below in the comments, let me know what you want to see in some of the next videos, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.